Welcome back to News Across Nigeria, where we inform you on what's happening across the 36 states of the Nigerian Federation. Take the Northwest, for instance, Kaduna to be exact, where women are staging a peaceful protest. More details in just a moment. First, we'd like to remind you that all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. Do visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. It'd be remiss of us not to remind you to please interact with the eyewitness feature in the Channels TV app on the Android, iOS, and Windows platforms. If you have pictures or if you have videos you'd like to share with us, tap the application on your device, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. And now a group of women called Sisters Forum of Islamic Movement of Nigeria have staged a peaceful protest in Kaduna State in the Northwest, asking for the immediate release of their leader, Sheikh Ibrahim El Zagzaki, and his wife from army detention. The women who took their protest to the Secretariat of the Kaduna State Council of the Nigeria Union of Journalists also demanded for the immediate release of the corpses of their members, who they say were killed during the clash with the military on December the 12th, 2015, for proper burial. And now we will turn our attention to Lagos State in the southwestern part of the country. 33 years after the establishment of the Lagos State University, students admitted there will now be required to stay on campus. This is one of the two bills recently signed into law by the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akimwumi Ambode, the other bill being the 25 billion Naira Employment Trust Fund. At the signing ceremony held at the Lagos House in Ikeja, Governor Ambode described the bills as very significant and crucial to the realization of his administration's policy objectives. Two executive bills laid before Governor Akiwumi Ambode for his assent, a law to effect the 25 billion Naira Employment Trust Fund and for the amendment of the Lagos State University Law 2004. <laughs> Governor Ambode says the establishment of the trust fund is in fulfillment of his campaign promise. This bill will address the challenge of unemployment and promote wealth creation through entrepreneurial development. As I signed this bill today, an annual contribution of 6.25 billion naira will be injected into the fund by the state government for four years, totaling 25 billion naira. <laughs> A board of trustees made up of core professionals will be announced in due course to manage this fund, which will be totally outside the purview of the state government. Shortly after the ceremony, the Deputy Speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly gives details of the bills, particularly the State University Law. As it is now, a first, the first assembly of Lasso will spend five years, single term, so there will not be acrimony as to his second term, which usually has been the case in the last two, three decades. And also now, Lasso has now been made um, residential formally, as far as practicable. Um, by the Senate and the Governor Council of um, Lasso. Also, all professors in Lasso, their retirement age now will now be 70 years instead of 65, so as to retain them for more productive years and services to the institutions. Governor Amber says more information on the operations of the Employment Trust Fund, including a board of trustees made up of core professionals, will be announced in due course. To AKT State now, where close to 12 lock-up shops and other valuable property worth millions of naira have been destroyed by fire along the Ilawe Road in Adukiti, Ekiti State Capital. The head of operations, National Emergency Management Agency, Mr. Saeed Akiode, said they are still accessing the level of the damage. Meanwhile, the victims of the disaster are calling on the state government for assistance. I just want the government to assist me because all I've been gathering together since all this war has gone and I don't know where to start from again. 
I'm a graduate, six years graduate, no employment. I just gather those things together to earn living. But now there is nothing. Everything has gone. <laughs> We got the distress call that is fire accident in this uh, Abiy hospital, and uh, to God with glory, we were able to call on the uh, fire state fire service and uh, the civil defence, well, level on ground, and other relevant stakeholders. The next stop action is uh, for our main our assessment team to swing to, uh, into action and come and assess the extent of damage so that we'll be able to make appropriate uh, recommendations to the appropriate authority to see what, how we can compensate the affected uh, people. Now we will turn our attention to Cross River State where the command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps is calling on the federal and state government as well as well-meaning Nigerians to join the command with, in their operational measures to effectively carry out their duties of sanitizing the state of illegal bunkering in this new year. According to the Commandant, Mr. Dayo Adeshui, the command is poised to stamp out illegal bunkering and diversion of petroleum products which has contributed immensely to the, shortage, to the shortage of petroleum products at some petrol stations across the country. Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps in Cross River State has succeeded in ensuring that bunkering, diversion of fuel, vandalization of cable wires are reduced to the barest minimum. And this is essentially where we, we, where we focus our attention. And this is the area we are going to focus our attention again in this year, 2016. Because the country is losing billions of naira daily on these uh, criminal activities. We want to ensure that we work hard and these criminal activities is brought to the barest minimum. And this is going to be our focus in this year, 2016. I have a vehicle attached to Ogoja Division, Obanikro Division, to checkmate diversion along that axis. And I have only one attack to Akampa to also checkmate the diversion along that axis. So our major challenge is operational vehicles. And we seize this opportunity to win meaningful crossfarium because we are here to serve them, to serve the society. And we want to work effectively. We need more operational vehicles. The government has promised us, and I know he will assist us. That's the commandant of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps in Cross River State. The South-South will be looking at the measures that the NSCDC is taking in the Southwest in Lagos State, where in just a moment we'll be speaking with the Commandant, the Lagos State Command of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. Please stay with us. <laughs> 